But first, honoring a fallen hero, how Jason Rayner is being remembered tonight. The community paying tribute to the Daytona Beach police officer. Good evening, I'm Lisa Bell. Yeah, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. Rayner died Tuesday, nearly two months after he was shot in the line of duty. He was only 26 years old. Today, Daytona Beach police laid a wreath in Rayner's honor at a public memorial outside the police department. Community members also brought flowers to lay on Rayner's former patrol car. The fallen officer was also remembered tonight by a young man who never got the chance to meet him. News 6's Nikki Zizaza is in the newsroom with that story for us tonight. Nikki. Matt, the Winter Springs boy says this is all for the Rayner family, and this run was difficult because it was in honor of a local fallen officer. He says he hopes the Rayner family finds comfort in his mission. It's a loss hard to comprehend. His family, his mother, his father, his sister, and the rest of his family, who I know is watching right now. Raw emotion still rippling through the community. My prayers are with you this hard time. Such an incredible man. Just 26 years old, time is passing. When it comes to standing up for fallen officers, Zachariah Cartledge is willing to put his words into action. <laughs> Once again, the 12 year old is using his feet to honor a first responder killed in the line of duty. Every single ride, I try to make it just as important, but we love being able to see the support for a local agency out here. This time, it's for Daytona Beach police officer Jason Rayner, who surrendered to his injuries on Tuesday after he was shot in the head responding to a call in June. It's only been two or three days since his passing. It's the reason why so many people gathered here at Layer Elementary School at 7.30 p.m. to watch and support Cartledge run a mile. It's definitely difficult on me, especially when it's local. I never want to have to run for local first responders from the Central Florida area. Giving meaning to Rayner's service and proving this is a tremendous loss to the law enforcement community. Even though we can't bring back their fallen first responder, we can not only keep their memory alive, but show that he's still here in spirit and will forever be until we can reach, we can see him again someday. Cartledge says this is his 980th mile and he hopes he doesn't have to run another mile for a fallen first responders. The touching show of support attracted many local agencies. In the newsroom, Nikki Zizaza getting results. News 6. Very touching, Nikki. Thank you. Officer Rayner's viewing and funeral will be held later this weekend and early next week. They are not open to the public, but the Daytona Beach Police is inviting anyone who would like to pay their respects to visit the temporary memorial. It's outside the police department's front lobby. It will be there through at least Monday.